Guys, the conversation just got so heated. My name is Mel Carmine. I am the connector, and I'm here in Florida, Melbourne. And yes, we are opening up an e system center up the road, and uh, we're going to have an, an incredible grand opening. But this conversation just got so heated on Emily and Whiplash and Rocky and all this stuff that I said, guys, stop it. Stop it. Stop right now. We're going to hit the record button. It is happens to be exactly 17 minutes after eight. You know, 17 being the key number, you know exactly which team we're on. Guys, welcome to the show. Yeah, we really were getting into it, huh? Yeah. <laughs> hey, James, why don't you finish your thought? Uh, maybe just lay it out on what you were discussing. Well, before. you know, my, the next video, what's going on, everyone? Peace and blessings. It's your boy, James Anthony. It's always a pleasure and an honor to rock with you, Mel. And Finally, we get on a call together, um, Colin. Uh, we've been we've yeah, been shooting, we've been shooting to try to do that for some time. So you know, here I'm we glad are. we could do it. Sorry, everybody. I'm driving, so in order for me to not get pulled over or get a ticket, I'm probably gonna keep my phone low for the next 15, 20 minutes. All right. So he's actually trying. Run with he's it. actually trying to imitate one oh seven. He's got to get the pinky ring and face the camera <laughs> the opposite way. <laughs> <laughs> You it's know crazy. what? Just for the hell of it, just for the hell of it, I'm gonna do it. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I tell you the truth, bro. Uh, you know, we thought, and and God bless those white hats because those folks have been relentlessly putting in the time and the effort to uncover this this elaborate. Uh, extensive scam, right? So my, the next video that I have coming out is a walkthrough of the whole Doge token, the one that she, she Emily, uh, calls Doggy T, the Doggy T token, right? So yeah, a lot of people think that it was a meme, uh, a meme derivative, and, and it started out legit. No, it didn't. This thing runs so deep. And I'll tell you, it even changed my perspective on the XLM network. Once I started getting into some of the specifics and how far, how far back it goes and how close to some of the original uh, Genesis wallets, it started to scare me to death. It started to scare me to death. And so, yeah, on that note, I have a really good video coming out. I worked with um, Viv on it and uh, you guys are going to love it. It'll be uh, it'll be very, very, very much worth the wait. And I apologize that it's taken so long, but these things have to be done with care and concern. Right. And they have to be done properly. So it'll be worth the wait. I yeah, man. Hats, hats off. Hats off to you for doing that, because, you know, recently I've been seeing your content and, you know, before you had started putting it out in that chat, you know, you were talking about, hey, you know, I'm. You were real gung ho about starting to do that sort of thing, and I see you're doing it. Which a lot of people generally just just talk, and and there's no walk. So. Yes, sir. Yeah, unfortunately, unfortunately, unfortunately you know, I need that though. Yeah, yeah. I think I think I'm 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 sort of married to this situation, and I say that because. I've had a lot of people try to tell me, you know, back away from it. You're you're playing with fire. You don't know what you're doing. But to tell you the truth, I'm just I'm super concerned about the people that are still stuck in the trance. They're still stuck in the loop. Yeah. And they're yeah. buying they're buying the bull crap that they're spending they're nazis. She's saying we're nazis. She's saying we're Kazarian. Yo, bro. I'm from the streets, bro, all right? Four years clean, been in and out of, you know, some of the most horrible situations, and I'm going to keep it 100 with you. There's nothing Nazi or Kazarian about me, all right? I've been through some of the worst situations you can imagine, and I'm just to the point where I'm just so fed up that, listen, what's right is right. We need you, Emily and Whiplash, to come to the table and start addressing the information that, that we've presented. We've already presented truth. We presented evidence. And the only thing you're saying is they're Kazarians. How about dealing with the content? Let's talk about the content. To realize is that even if we wanted to give them the benefit of the doubt, all you got to do is, is take a good look at the activity. I mean, just look at Whiplash's sell orders, okay? 
Why would somebody ever set that many small little sell orders if they didn't want anybody to see them? So like if, when you try to give them the benefit of the doubt and you do an audit of their activity, it just, it looks so shady. And, and the fact, and you know what, they're, they're preying on people that A, are not good with technology yep. and B, are, they're usually pretty well, well to do in terms of like, they're good people, right? Yeah. And Christians. they're being normally they, Christians. They, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, exactly. And like, they're, a lot of them are, are great patriots and right. a lot of them are older and they, they want to use this wealth that they think they're going to get um to share with their families and honestly what they're doing it, it, it's it's such a low blow that i said this um a couple of weeks ago on a show that you have to have demonic attachments yes sir. to do to do work like that i yes, mean sir. if you're not a psychopath or a sociopath you have to have some serious demonic attachments and so, I firmly believe that's what we ha we're looking at here, man. That's what we're seeing. Well, it's interesting you say that because, you know, a lot of people don't want to accept. Like, for me, it was such a hard pill to swallow that I had actually been taken advantage of to the level and to the yeah. amount, to the tune of close to six figures. It was hard, such a hard pill for me to swallow. But I knew that if I didn't swallow it, that I'd still be in denial and I could be taken advantage of even more. So I had to face the reality of what was going on. We are in a spiritual war. Okay. Yeah, we are. The 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 deceptions are so great right now, right? Peak, peak level, the deceptions across the board. And the enemy is just that good that he's going to use truth and spread use the truth and sprinkle the lie within the truth. You understand what I'm saying? I'll tell you, she is definitely yeah. working. And how about this? The information that I uncovered, I thought they that they were at the top of the food chain. And they're not. They're not. Yeah. They're not. Nope. Nope. They are just worker bees. This thing runs a lot deeper. They are just worker that's, bees. Yeah, that's what I thought, man. I had a feeling that, that they have handlers. And I actually think that... Um, they may not even have a choice either. You know, somebody some, brought that to my attention. Thing. Yeah, somebody yeah. brought that to my attention, yeah. yeah. So, but you know what? Like, look, everybody at the end of the day has a choice, okay? I, if I was forced to do something like that, I would find a way out of it or I would fucking die trying, man. I, yeah. I There's no way you could sign me up for anything like that. You know, and you know, and that's the thing too. Some people get into these things, and, and by the way, they're the the real cabal members. They're the projectors. They're the Kazarians. Why do you think they're, they're the calling? Nazis. Why do you think yeah. they're calling us that? Because what they're right. doing is they're deflecting. No doubt about it, bro. No doubt yeah. about it. The yeah. devil is the king of confusion and, and projection, Ooh, and that's, that's exactly up. what we're looking at here. And and his minions, you know, the demonic hordes. Um, are are very much present, and those are the same hordes that this is a little off topic that are also responsible for stuff like Pride Month. You know, I yeah, mean, don't get me, don't get me started going down that yeah, way. Right, man. I know it's off topic, but look, you know, the devil finds his way into every walk of life. You know, it, 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 on this planet, many, many, can, many, many say that that um, this planet is being controlled by an unclean spirit and has for thousands of years. And that would be the devil, Satan. Right. Well, so, so basically, in a yeah. nutshell, yeah, that's exactly it. We live in a fall. We are a fallen creation. We've been a fallen creation since the garden. And not one of us deserves to go to heaven, but through the grace and mercy of God, through the grace and mercy of Jesus, do we have the gift of salvation, but only if we accept with our heart the truth and we admit that we are sinners, right? And it's only just last year that I found out what the true gospel was. Before that, <laughs> I was, you know, following, these people are so good, they've been cherry picking Bible verses to fit their narratives, 
right? And that's what looped me. That's why I thought that they were actually people of God because they always use the word God. But in the Bible, it well, says that, yeah. that that's, you know, Satan is the lowercase God of this world. That's he, right. And you know who also knows scripture extremely well is the devil. He studies it. Satan. Studies right. it. Yes, sir. Yes, so sir. So let's try to loop this back in. But I mean, so for those of you listening, you can see where this type of thing has its roots. Yep. And why this is a spiritual war? Why like the, the 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 primordial question of why are these people doing such evil? Why? Hmm. It's the same question we all have to ask. Why is the cabal on a macro level doing all the evil that they're doing? But that's not. It only really question. goes back far, yeah. kind of like James, like you just said. It goes far and deep and wide, all the way back to the garden, a fallen creation, like you said. This is our opportunity to truly take a step out of that. Yeah. And that's what this war is all about. Yeah, but that's not only the question, Colin. The fact that they're doing it in, in a, such a desperate, dire time yeah. where people are really hurting. It takes a yeah. special kind of person to really kick humanity in, in the balls when they're down and out. You know what I mean? Special kind of evil. Agree. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, there's definitely a special kind of evil. I agree with you. But if you think about it, go back and, and, and pay attention to some of their meditations. Okay? Now, what struck me months back was the meditation where they were calling on sexual energies to release what? chakras yeah yeah they were doing it with that rise with that with that whole rise squad oh, meditation. and i learned through the bible that all that stuff is sorcery it's all sorcery. it's all everything we're dealing with right now is in the bible and it blew my mind that i couldn't tie it together until i took a few steps back and so yeah i would not be surprised if this runs so much deeper that they are captured individuals by the evil one yeah yeah absolutely yeah i think they also know that um the jig is up and we're we're moving we're moving through an awakening process where whether it takes another year or another 20 years i really do feel like we're on the verge of something much much greater in this world yeah. And, you know, I, I think this time the good guys win. I, I really do. And I do. I know that a lot of the folks on um, on the channel, on the White Hat Army channel, don't believe that there really are White Hats doing anything. But I vehemently disagree with that. I, I really I do firmly believe that there are many White Hats yeah. and, and they're working in our interests. And it is an international alliance. And um you know, I, I just I, I think there's um, a place to put your hope in that. I know hope's not a strategy, right? But it sure as hell is a much better vibration than uh, than fear and doubt. So I, 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 I can say that I, too, have days where I believe that there may not be such a an operation at play. There is some kind of an operation and the Lord is fully in control. But what, what works for me, and I'm going to keep it 100 with you, what works for me was um, surrendering to Jesus, making sure that my salvation was guaranteed. And now everything else is is basically, you know, noise at this point. Now I just do the best that I can every single day to help others awaken to what's really going on, perhaps guide people to, to the right digital assets, not financial advice, never financial advice. Uh, we are not financial advisors. We are just individuals sharing our journey, plain and simple, period, point blank. But I do believe that there is hope in the Lord. And I won't put my hope in any man doing anything. That's why I'm, I'm super proactive about standing up today and doing whatever I can today as a man today, instead of saying, well, I'm going to put my hope in so-and-so for tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? And that's what works for me. Real talk. Jesus works for me. Yeah, and, and and that's awesome. That that's where you're finding your the strength to do your work. Because, look, regardless of where 
we find our strength individually. If you're able to find it at, at the level that you are and you're able to produce the work you're producing and continue to do and produce, that's excellent, man. That's going to, it's only going to help a lot of people. And to me, that's like the continuation of, of Jesus Christ's work, the man, right. Yes, sir. And what he did for, you know, the people, because he, if you think about it, if you look back at what he was doing, he's, he really was exposing, you know, evil, exposing the bankers, exposing the doctors, yep. exposing the lawmen, you know, like, he was Just crucified showing... by the religious people of the time. He was right. crucified by the Pharisees and the Romans, right? So people get it really confused on who he really was, no doubt. I, I'm I'm feeling where you're going with that. But yeah, I mean, I, it's you can see how the fractal of that, how, you know, what it's when people do find the strength that they need and what it can lead to. So keep that up, man. Um, I'm anxious to see what you're going to uh, show us with, uh, you said you're doing the the deep dive is on on the uh, Doge token. Oh man, it's gonna be so good! It's gonna blow everything that we've done already out the water. What we've done already is nothing compared to what's coming, bro. Big time, big time. You know, I'm I I gotta say, I, it's it's frustrating when you try to to make an impact and on Telegram. I and I feel like the the battlefield's got to move off Telegram for this because there's so many groups that'll just outright ban you for even mentioning that this whole thing's a scam. Yo, I don't, me, even, like, I don't even go talk to bro. Bro, how about this? We could probably use the same tools that they're using and get some bots going. We could yeah. probably get yeah. bots going to, to, to distribute <laughs> the information. We probably could. It's, I'm super fascinated yeah. by AI, bro, big time, yeah. Well, it's got to happen. I mean, it just sucks. I mean, there's still like 50,000 people in the QSI group. So and, man. I mean, with, people don't realize I whiplash for those are bots. I, I bet you it's it's all smoke and mirrors. Yeah. Or some pony show. Well, there there's just there's definitely some diehard minions. Uh, and you know what? God forgive me. Let me not call nobody minions. Right. Because the, those people are they're captured. The people that yeah, are that are yeah. standing up and speaking uh, in, in the defense of these two characters, whiplash and uh, QSI. It's because they're captured, man. It's it's because they're captured. And we need to figure out a way, even if it's one at a time, you know what I mean? We need to figure out a way how to just show them the right piece of information to pull them out of there, man. Well, what do you guys think of these two guys that give, that that follow her religiously and basically are, you know, up her, you know what? Um, uh, the two guys, I'm not going to give them any Esquire. You guys know who they are? Yeah, yeah. I, I, it's so weird, those, those guys. I mean... They seem pretty intelligent, right? And they don't, they don't, they don't look like. But they, they're, you know, she's not threatened by them because they're yes people. So yeah, they, yeah. They were, uh, I mean, I don't know if I, re I don't know who you're even talking about, to be honest. But I, I, yeah, I mean, if that's what you guys think, I'll take your word for it. Yeah, those two guys, bro. They, they used to have a weekly show. Is that the ones you're talking about? Yeah, like every Friday or something? With, uh, you know exactly. And with, yeah. Uh, yeah. Charlie Ward and Charlie Ward took the videos off off the off the channel. Oh, those okay. All right. Yeah. I, I yeah, I I would never had a good feeling about the energy coming. Okay, let me just also people need to get it through their minds that Charlie Ward is not a good person. He's a total grifter. He's probably the biggest scammer out of them all. I didn't want I mean, to say this, that. I didn't want this to say guy, that. This guy has been ripping people off for decades i mean just just do some research on the guy yeah no i know i Even mean his son came out and said something about that yeah, yeah. dude like the guy like, there's a there's a well-documented case a recent case of a lady that literally came out to the patriot community and said that guy was one of my traffickers okay uh, she saw him on a plane and knew exactly listen if you're put into a into a very very unnerving situation like being trafficked you're gonna remember no who doubt. was doing it okay no doubt no doubt that, that's an imprint on your soul that will never leave your soul until who knows right but look that kind of thing i uh, you have to you have to really listen to people like that because they are probably going to be the best form of kicker in any card game right quote unquote 
and uh, the game of life, right? How do I identify who's a good person, who's a bad person? Find somebody that's been deeply affected by somebody and you'll know who they really are. And that's yeah. what I, I have to say, man. Like people don't, they just brush that right off. Like, and you know, and there's, that, that's not the only, that's not the only, uh, ver- or that's not the only example. Um, no, there's plenty. There's you know, plenty. There's, there's yeah. Plenty. Yeah, that's plenty. Right. So, I'll like, tell you what else? He, he, that guy. Yeah. Sorry to cut you off. He actually, he actually was was co-signing Emily a few months ago. He right. was like, he right. was like, yeah, my my connection, my guy, my source said <laughs> that you're right over the money with the QS with the QFS stuff, and uh, yeah. I'm confirming. I, I watched that clip and I'm like, yo, is this guy dead serious? That's how you know he's full of ish. Dude, because yeah, we know man. for a fact she's riding the 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 criminal train. No doubt about it. There's no doubt about yep. it. We have the evidence. So if he's co-signing her and now he's trying to backpedal, listen. Okay. There are okay, there are some decent, there's some there's there are a handful of decent people that are involved with with you know the being being a public figure, Mel, you're one of them. I don't believe for a second that you scammed anybody. Never will I ever believe that. My wife would um, divorce just to me get faster that on the than, record. My wife would divorce me faster than shit goes through a goose. Well, it's just, dude, it's not your energy, man. I'm a great sense of of picking up on people's energy, and it's just not you. So yeah. anyway, but but like I think what's happened here in this movement is we've seen a lot of the scum rise to the top. Yeah. And it's it's been it's it's exposing itself. Essentially, like anybody that I guess has too many agendas outside the mission. Right. If we focus on the mission, then there's there's no way that you can really be viewed as anything but genuine, you know. But like when you've got like people like this guy, Lobster Tom, okay. This guy's a fucking cartoon character, man. He's a total. He's <laughs> I don't even people. know, dude. The guy that teams up with Crypto Brownie, oh, like that's, that's just one. another QSI waiting to happen. Like, <laughs> lobster, let, let me say something real quick. Lobster Tom is charging people in the collective chat room six hundred dollars to set up their wallet for him, dude. What? Yeah, man. Are you kidding me, bro? Dude, I I screenshotted it. Just so I had an example of it, I could dig, dig and find it. But um, wow. dude, I'm not, I'm not kidding, man. Like these people are relentless. Like they'll, wow. they'll throw each other under the bus so they can keep their own scam going, man. That's it. It's wow, ridiculous. Bro. Yeah, no, you know, it's bro, so sad. You, it's so it's sad, sad, bro. It Patriot, really is. This Patriot podcasting community, on the surface, it looks like you know peaches and cream. It's everything but. Yeah, because yeah. it's doggy dog. Most people, listen, bro, unless you're really g- well intended, unless you have good intentions, and I can tell right off the bat if you do or don't, with one conversation, I can feel it. Like you said, Colin, you can feel the energy, bro. Yeah, dude. Bro, it's ego, it's materialistic, yeah. it's selfish. Nobody, nobody wants to cross pollinate, nobody wants to cross promote anybody. Because it's all about me, 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 me. Everybody, it's all about me, me, me. Uh, and they'll tell you to your face, yeah, I'm going to take your video. I'm going to put it on my on my uh, page and you're, you'll do the same, whatever. And then it doesn't happen. It's only one sided because they're trying to suck off of you. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. It is pathetic. OK. When they took down, what's his name, for example, Nicholas Vienemann. OK. Yeah. He said if there was an alliance that we could bring 100, 200 very strong podcasters together, for example, let's say, Colin, you had a channel. And for whatever reason, they took you down. They took your channel down. No strikes, no nothing. And it's happened before. We immediately stop what we're doing, all 200 of us, and we immediately come to your aid, and we all yeah. do a podcast saying, hey, this is Colin's new channel, and we build you back up in like a weekend. You're back up yeah, in right. numbers, right? Yeah. If yeah. we did that, we all stuck you know, together, right? They would stop right. with us. Right. I tell you, uh, those a good idea. That. everybody is yeah. about. Oh no, this is mine, mine. You know, right? It's high school, it's fucking ridiculous. Absolutely, well, hundred percent agree. So why don't we just yeah. let's keep it a hundred right now, right? Why don't we just say once a week we'll get together, 
right? You will pull, you know, Knights of the Round Table situation. Every week you can bring in a couple of different people, random people, and once a week we'll get together and each one of us have our own channels, right? I mean, Colin, you you have a channel too, I right? I do. Yeah, yeah, I do. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So yeah, we can do week, that. Yeah, once a week let's get I, together. I did. The week, everybody do their when own channel. Happened. When that happened with Nicholas Vanneman, I put out a message in my Telegram groups hoping that that message would have been taken and spread out there on all the Telegram channels and that people would resonate with it, and we would all go to the aid of Nicholas Vienemann. That never happened. Did he ever get his channel back? He never I did. I don't know. Nope, never did. 157 wow. people, like, gone in a snap of a finger. So did he start a new one? I'm assuming probably he did, right? He did, and uh, he's strong. Uh, he's back on – he's on a Rumble now because he's learned his lesson. You can't just be on YouTube. you got to be on yeah. Rumble is super important. I got a guy that um he met one of the founders of uh, of Rumble and he got him verified and monetized. I know your videos get monetized right away depending on which category you put them in, but he's got a line to a guy that can get the channel verified and pushed up the ladder. So that's a wow, that's a, nice. that's a beautiful network I, tool. Yeah, I made a whopping sixteen hundred and ninety two dollars in the last like nine months on <laughs> Rumble. Okay. On Rumble, yeah. yeah. Just keep going. I think I spent more than that on gas, you know, joyriding my doom buggy, right? <laughs> <laughs> but no, like that, you know, the kind that those kinds of things that you thought up there about helping a fallen soldier, like that, man, just that's the what fact it's all about. That's what Dude, it's all about. exactly, man. The fact that nobody took you up on that says a lot I about did. I did, yeah. Well, Right, right, but there's a reason the three of us are having this conversation, right? No, no, so, no. like, but, but there, I mean, dude, like that says so much about the people involved in this community, and it also says a hell of a lot about all of these magical dates that come and go, right? I've, oh, dude, oh. I've fallen victim to that myself, man. So like, have I. so have I. I have totally fallen victim to like, okay, we got something big coming around the corner. Um, taken, like, I've learned the lesson that you just you can't. No matter who you think you're you're following or thinks that they know something, they don't know shit. I'll tell okay? you what, though, nobody's got an they inside don't know source. Shit. Nobody's got an inside source because the very few people that know anything, it's so compartmentalized that even right. they don't know the whole story. Okay. Exactly. Why everybody is being yep. spun in different directions because this is because they're trying to keep them guessing. I gave up on dates. I gave up on the de depending on anyone, bro. Okay. It's just it's all a matter of us. Yeah. It's all a matter of us every day putting in the work, talking to the people, helping the people, getting people set up with XRP wallets, getting them some XRP yeah. tucked away, and then just move. That's what I do yeah. every single day, bro. Stay. I think they they've Let's been stay. trying to get people away from XRP, by the way. Yes, yeah, sir. Get it positive cash flow, stay in positive cash flow, stay in positive good health, and wait. We're going to get our day in the sun, but nobody knows. It might happen three weeks from now, or it might happen five months from now. It's going to happen. I think something of major significance does have to happen this year, but I'm not going to. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'll tell you what I think, honestly, boys. And it's not going to be too popular. <laughs> it's not going to be too popular. Um. I believe the whole Nisera Jacera thing is a psyop. I believe it's been a psyop from the beginning to keep the 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 people that would have paid attention and who would have caused some kind of civil unrest. I believe it was a an operation to spin the people that would have revolted. Now, do I believe there's something happening? Absolutely. There's definitely something happening. I just had somebody what? else call me or send my wife an email saying. Mel, I want to come on your show. I got debt forgiveness. So, well, I, I believe there's something cooking for sure. There's definitely level, something cooking. Level playing field is coming. A the tax, the old tax system uh, with the IRS, which is nothing more than a thug mafia collection agency that's registered in Puerto Rico, is, is already out of business. Okay, you cannot run this new uh, fourth dimensional world with you know uh, ma matrix rules. It, it's got to change. Zero doubt. I, zero doubt something's cooking. Zero doubt we have access to assets that are going to, to change people's lives. I'm fully in support of that. Yeah. But everything else, I mean, I know people that have been waiting for 22, 23 years for that global currency reset. Okay. Now. It's happened once before in Kuwait. It happened yeah. in Kuwait. 
The yeah, there was something. There was something. They went to war with Kuwait. They devalued the money. They went in, bought it all up on the cheap, and they sold it when it, you know, when the war was over. It revalued, and a lot of people made hundreds of millions. A lot of people, but it wasn't millions. the good guys. No, it, it was all the bad. Know, uh, that's how Bill Clinton balanced our budget with uh, the revaluation in Kuwait. Yeah, it's always been the bad, the black hats that are running those resets. And actually, um, I think that the the foreign currency part of the RV, I believe that that is all black hat. Yes, sir. I think I think that uh, I don't think they're going to allow exchanges like that. Whenever this reset occurs, did you guys lose me? Nope. No, you you good? Okay, sorry. Yeah, when a call comes in, I'm not sure, but. I, I think uh, that um, that they've been. I mean, this is what they've been doing for years. Like they'll blow up a currency yep. to revalue it, so they can enrich themselves. It's just yes, been sir. the cycle over and over again. Yes, and uh, I, I don't think. I, okay, here's the thing, and this is this is going to sound unpopular, but I've been saying this for a long time that when when they flip the switch on the new system, they're going to close off each country to say, look, nope. We're done. We're not. We're not doing any any foreign exchange. Uh, we're on a. We're, we have a new currency. And look, I mean, if you did a if you did a, a forex buyback on currency, you would you would start a new system and create it so much inflation. It, it doesn't make sense. That is so the, like that is the bottom line. The inflation aspect. There's no way it would work. Like yeah. so, I mean, well, and how yeah. do you know that you're buying legitimate currency? You could yeah. buy <laughs> currency from anybody, man. Well, here's the thing. Like, even here's even the, the decentralized, even the decentralized economy, here, right? the thing, guys, even right. that there there's going to be gatekeepers. Yeah. Okay. It would cost for that more KYC money. KYC yeah. AML. Yeah, it would cost more money to counterfeit Iraqi dinars than to just sell the real ones. I'm telling yeah. you. So yeah. I really? That, yeah, I guarantee it. You, if you're going to counterfeit money, I'd rather go fit, counterfeit the British pound. You know what I mean? That's got some value. Well, the the listen. The bottom line is, you're right. It's it's all dark hat, black hat operations. All of it, every every bit of it. Um, yeah, there's good guys on the field. Yes, there's something good that can come of it if we are in the right assets. Right? I mean, let's be honest. I think they've been trying to lead us away from XRP for quite some time. For quite some time, Jed McCaleb is on the opposite side. He's part of the Lucius uh, Luciferian Trust. I mean, Stellar Lumination, right? That's the name of the token, bro. He's part of the evil. He's like the fourth richest person in the world, that guy, bro. But, you know, the reality is when the good guys win, all of these stuff is going to be used for good. The bad guys win. Yes, or- yes. Yes, that's Romans 828. I've said this uh, yeah. uh, ad nauseum. I've said it a million times. No the central bank digital currency is never going to see the light of day because I'm... the asset classes work perfectly well peer to peer. Why yes. in the world do I need to go yes. through a third party? Why yes. in the world do we need to bring in some other technology on a blockchain when the blockchain doesn't call for it? Yeah. Yeah. Bro, did you see the oh. the, the, the recent uh the recent um um audit that just came out okay so yesterday the bis launches project mariana which is automate n- novel automated market maker right and then today uh, the xrp uh, uh uh there's a there's a security audit or a security audit organization that dropped the audit on the xrp amm new amm you think that's a coincidence bro no, bro the no. xrp no. the xrp ledger is the golden ticket. Hands down, yes, Quant will be involved and, you know, there'll be some other aspects, but zero doubt XRP will be the bridge out of insanity, bro. 100%. 100%. When they turn, 100%. When they turn on the quantum financial system and it's a real go, there's no more dress rehearsal, and they go, we got to go tomorrow at 10 o'clock in the morning. When they actually do that, Ethereum and Bitcoin are not compatible with the quantum financial system. The new, the new EVM, the new AMM is EVM yeah. compatible, bro. You're gonna see so that, that all the money can flow right into the XRP ledger, bro. Yeah. Uh, I tend to agree. I tend to agree. I mean, I, Bitcoin is it's worthless. It was a trial run yeah. for XRP. And then all these other shit coins popped up along the way, which are all cabal, by the way. Almost every currency, cryptocurrency in existence 
is a black hat operation, hands down. And yeah. you're going to see 99% of those cryptocurrencies fall to zero as soon as the uh, the alliance decides to get off their asses and make a move, which I do believe is going to be sometime soon. I don't want to put dates on that anymore. I do believe. Uh, so I've been following the 17 operation very closely. And, you know, there's absolutely something to that. Uh, James, with your opinion on the Nassara Jassara, I have a bit of a, I guess, a hybrid opinion. I think that many aspects of it came from the the Black Hat plan, but I yeah. also do believe there's there's some good merit to it in terms of some of the ways in which we plan to live once we win this war, which is constitutional law, okay? Like, there's a big difference there where you you leave maritime law, which is the law of the sea. At this point, I feel like we're all pretty well versed in yeah. how that works. So, um, but, I, but I do believe that there's going to be uh, some unhappy people that when these changes start to enact, when they're going to be out certain seas or investments they may have made, yeah. I think the safe bet right now is to be in XRP. It's absolutely going to be digital, okay? Yeah. Um, there will be a physical component to it as well, yeah. although I don't think it's any, it has anything to do with any current currency. Neither I think I. down the road, I think the U.S. dollar will become something else, uh, like the U.S. Treasury note. Um, yeah, and that's be a basket of currencies. Reason. Yeah, there'll be a basket right. of currencies, the Japanese, right. the British. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. So I have a hard time believing that they're going to do a big buyback on that's not happening. Um, on all these people's currencies that no. I mean, you have any idea how much inflation you would create? Bro, it would I mean, inflate any alone. country's currency. All of that and you buy keep on an XRP. No, no, there, there's going to be, a, I, no, no, we're talking about uh, hard currencies, like hard oh, uh, oh, physical oh, oh, paper gotcha. currency. Gotcha. Yeah. yeah, no, I actually, I'm one of the people that believes there will be a, a, a XRP buyback. And I think the reasoning is very simple. I think, uh, you know, when you have a back-end asset that's used to, as a go-between between, between every single commodity in existence, when you run a blockchain like that, and you plan for it to hold all the money, like David Schwartz has told us, mm -hmm. it has to be a very high value. And the total, some total, the sum total of the value of the 100 billion XRP tokens has to match the total wealth in the world. The movement of money is, on planet Earth. Absolutely. Bro, the XRP, bro, the XRP token can be broken down into one million drops. Okay. There's one million fractions of each XRP token. It was designed to be a global digital reserve currency. How they're implementing it will be through bridge assets, foreign exchange, commodities. I mean, it's value agnostic, right? So that means anything of value can be moved and tokenized on it. Right. But I don't I don't I don't buy into the buyback. That doesn't mean that there won't be some kind of finance. It could even be ripple. Yeah. Just like they're doing their ripple yeah. shares. They're buying back their ripple shares, right? Yeah. So 61 bucks a piece. I, I disagree yeah. with that and I'll tell you why. When it's go time the only one that can move my mountains, financially speaking, is the XRP. And yeah. that, that's the 99,000 pound girl that, that everybody knows is in the room. It's the yeah. only one that got the lawsuit. It's yeah. the only one that got invited down to Antarctica. Yeah. You know, I could go on and on and on. So, no, no, I, 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 without a doubt, XRP so is the one. We already know that believe. Michael Arrington moved $50 million, yeah. took two seconds, plus 30 cents to move $50 million. It's never made a mistake. It's scalable to 3.5 trillion transactions per second. Now, the lion says it's going to be a buyout of $537,000 and whatever. But, you know, I hope his number is right because it's yeah. much bigger than my number. Okay. That's a lot higher than, listen, bro, wait, listen. Yeah. we are so far from that happening, bro. Okay. Yeah. There's going to be a series of volatile movements 
-hmm. and they're going to shake out 90% of the holders, bro. When it runs to three dollars, people are gonna sell. When it runs to ten dollars, people are gonna sell. When that's it a, runs to twenty dollars. The old market cap is still in play. If we graduate to Nassara and Jasara, we graduate to the new world, and the market cap has nothing to do with it, and they, they need to stabilize that thing so that it, it can meet their agenda. That's a different. That's a different. Do you know uh, what? Do, do you guys know what the Comex rule is? Are you guys familiar with? The yeah, five rule five eighty nine. Yeah. Okay, I believe that that's what will happen. Ultimately, they'll, they will stop trading on it because it'll, the tr basically it'll be too volatile because of the announcements, because of the partnerships. They'll have to stop trading on it and set a price to it. That's what I believe is gonna happen. 100%, 100 million percent, that's what's gonna happen. Yep. And it's gonna happen after they've shaken most people out of it though. Yes, sir. Um, yes, sir. I, think, yeah. I think that's, I think that's what the bearable guy, I think, <laughs> Me too. I think that's it. I mean, guys, I, I think that's what the bearable guy represents. I think the bearable guy represents each and every one of us that is able to stick it out yep. long enough to where they, after they flip the switch. And you know what? It's been, it's been a little while now. Quite since, a few years. Quite a few years. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, man. But look, how how much longer will they make us wait? Doesn't matter. You know? Bro, Doesn't I, will matter. Get, I will go get three more jobs Doesn't to make matter. sure. That I what matters is that you believe in the asset, yeah. and yeah. because you believe in the asset, that means you understand what its, you know, what its real value means, what it's going to be doing, yeah. and uh, and then there's a reason why the bear and the king are always at odds, right? Yeah, it's because, it's because yes. the bear, the bear. If you pay, look, if you pay attention to those riddles. Bro, those things are so potent. And I used to talk, I talked some trash about those things recently. But after I saw what happened in UK with, with the crypto assets yeah. getting finally brought into the system, bro, that's the king. He used to be silent. He had no mouth. Then he was on the outside of the exactly. castle. Now he's on the inside of the castle. You got X Well, also, Bitcoin exactly. Bingo. Yep. That's what I was just about to say. If you If you watch from the beginning towards the end, the king starts outside. And finishes inside and yeah man if you and if you look at um the uh the advertisement they just had out it has the same color purple for xrp yes. with the castle right behind yes. it man so and look it's got the hook it's got the hook on it bro that those listen bro, yep. this is done so deep people don't understand all you have to do <laughs> is buy xrp and, and it. Tuck it away even if you want nothing to do with okay. this space okay let me let me let me add this okay you notice how there's no riddlers for xlm there's nothing. no there's there's no <laughs> yeah no, no, no there's like, scammers there's scammers for XLM. that's all you have i mean look yeah there are some scams on the xrpl too but nothing yeah. compared yeah. to the uh the stellar I blockchain agree. which Man, I feel like I'm starting to wonder if that blockchain is created just for the purpose of running scams. Well, check this out. Listen to this. Feel me. Walk with me for two minutes here. Go ahead. Go ahead. Jed, Jed McCaleb was part of the original XRP. Right. True. Right. He the Black me. Hat team. Yeah. Yes. yes. Okay. So he had a bunch of ideas that they weren't implementing. He winds up taking his buyout. He's he's dumping on the markets for eight years. Just just finished six months ago. Finally, Taco Stand That's wallet right. empty. He's not selling anymore, and so he creates. He forks the XRP ledger for eight months. It runs as a fork. Then he tweaks the code and creates his own uh, network. Everything, yeah. every single thing that they didn't want to implement, he design into xlm he's part of the bad guys he is he is on 100%. The bad guy zero doubt dude look at the name lucifer coin the lumen coin like you said dude all you got to do is take the words and terms and look at how they're being utilized we're talking about a satanic cabal right yeah so yes, wouldn't sir. it make sense for them to pay homage to their king or their god yes, by using sir. it as the name of a token yes sir. so Look, the Illuminator. I mean, That's what he does. He illuminates exactly. and brings wisdom. Exactly, and, man. And then, and then you think, well, listen, he's slipped and slid out of every large uh, 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 legal uh, uh, issue having to do with Mt. Gox, Ripple, right. and yep. now, come on, brah. Come on, brah. 
Come on. Yeah. What, what do you get guys, out of here. What are you, you doing? Guys, did you guys get a chance to listen? This is about a week and a half ago or so. There was a conversation on uh, Twitter. What do you call that Twitter chat? That when it was like the live chat. Uh yeah Space. yeah not, yeah yeah no Twitter spaces about. whatever. Yeah. Oh okay. Twitter oh, spaces. Yeah, 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 I love those Twitter things. spaces. It was, it, was, yeah. it was Nino Rodriguez. It was digital <laughs> asset investor and two other dudes that I don't. Oh yeah, I Austin Steinbart and Patrick Riley. Yeah, bro. Yeah. Big yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Right. Rob Cunningham was on that call as well. Yeah. And Rob Cunningham was that's yeah. the guy that I interviewed, correct? Yeah. Okay. Rob Cunningham was on that call. That was an epic conversation. It sure it was. Tells you, it tells one thing that there is a few, just a handful, okay, of XRP Army 1.0 that are all in on the 17th movement. All in. Yeah. yeah. 100%. Zach Rector is one of them. Yes. Yeah. Yo, can I share a screen and 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 uh, real quick? I think I can. It says I can right here. Okay. Zach Rector is like a XRP Army one point five. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, you seriously. Why? Like, I, dude, I, that I guy's like got a red five. folder he's like moment. Six foot four, six foot five. You know that? Is he really? Yeah, oh, he's, he's really tall. I look, he is I look tall. behind him. He's like, he goes, "Hey, Mel, I know that voice in Vegas." <laughs> I looked around. I looked back. I was like looking at a tree. That's what your wife said to me. I'm, yeah, I'm on the other cool. side of the room. I'm laughing, and she's like, like this. I know that voice. <laughs> no shit. I, I, you never would know. I mean, on yeah. YouTube, you can't. Yeah. Anyway, what are you showing us there? I want to show you guys the, uh, I mean, I can, I, we can do this for hours, and I can show you all kinds of stuff. I just want to show you the, the quick one and a half minute video that came out from the Bank for International Settlements. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, show us. This is, this is Dude, so good. Oh. XRP, man, like you better buy it now, people. I'm serious because this <laughs> case is going to end and you're going to be, we're going to be at a price point where it's not going to be the funnest to have to buy in that. So I got, I got millionaires coming at me, bro. Multi, multi millionaires coming at me, all wanting to go to my broker out of nowhere. They're all coming out of the woodwork. You know? Yeah, it's going to, they're all FOMOing, but you have to. This is a good FOMO. Trading 7.5 trillion US dollars a day. How might we trade and settle FX in a tokenized world? Project Mariana ventures a look. Mariana Water? It explains how wholesale central bank digital currencies, together with concepts borrowed from emerging decentralized finance, may improve effectiveness, safety, and transparency of FX trading and settlement. Mariana is a joint project between the BIS Innovation Hub, the Bank of France, the Monetary Authority of Singapore, and the Swiss National Bank. How does it work? An international blockchain-based network is at the heart of the experiment. Hello. It serves as an interbank foreign exchange market. You don't for say. hypothetical euro, <laughs> dollar, and Swiss franc wholesale CBDCs. So-called automated market makers, decentralized exchanges popular in today's DeFi markets, enable FX trading and settlement for financial institutions. Wholesale CBDCs originate from the domestic platforms. They can be transferred between the domestic platforms and the international network using bridges. Bridges, you said? Right, what is a, yeah, exactly. Yeah. What is a bridge over water? enables interoperability and central bank governance. Project Mariana pioneers the use of novel technology, such as AMMs for interbank FX markets, pushing the boundaries of central bank innovation. So you're telling me that that's a coincidence? That just came out. Oh, that yeah. Well, um, I wanted to say, say this. So uh, water is the... Um, you know, the way to put a fire out, right? So there's a the Ripple I've always seen, at least the, the current management and, and mission of Ripple as a white hat operation that actually infiltrated a black hat operation that was created um, to bring us into the new era under their tutelage. So when you think about what Ripple is, it's in Mariana, like you said, that's water, right? So yeah. water is going to douse the fire and the fire, that's what we want to end, right? I mean, 
fire represents ball. It represents what the cabal has chosen to push their children through, through the fire, right? And, you yeah. know, it, it's it, it's a change of the guard, if you will. And that's kind of what we're seeing happen here. It's a, it's a very long transition, and it's, it's taking a while, but it has to take a while. Things that start fast end fast. So it's okay that this transition is taking as long as it is. And I feel like, and this is kind of what I wanted to drive home, people that tell you it's going to happen on Tuesday every week, <laughs> they, want you, they want you to be living reactive and not responsive. They want you to be driven by your emotions. And that, that's why people that have a hard time controlling them are the ones that get taken advantage of the most. So when somebody tells you it's going to happen Tuesday next week, never believe them. Get as far away as you can from them. Never give them a dime and try to just forget about them altogether. Because those are the people that have gotten people into the most trouble, that have lost a ton of money selling a pipe dream, selling a fantasy, you know, look, man, I, there's obviously, look, when you take down a cabal, you're obviously going to seize their assets. But what these people did that are running that scam is they sold you that bill of goods while the white hats are taking assets. They're using that as a way to sell their scam by saying these white hats that they have no connection with are going to dump all these seized assets into their assets that they created themselves, either them or shady developers. Oh, how about and I'm this? telling gotta, you, folks, we gotta, yeah, the writing gotta, is on the wall. Gotta, Get beyond, as far beyond, away as you can. Beyond, beyond on the wall. How about this? We'll also bring a video Um, because I've noticed what what some of the White Hats started doing was they started reaching out to the companies that – that QSI right. says that they have tokens with, right? Like, oh, NDAs. So they started directly reaching out and sending screenshots of these different tokens and got yep. responses about each one completely saying- All bullshit. Oh, oh yeah, bro, bro, bro. Not even a single one, dude. Not, Not even one. a one. Not a fucking lick. Not a and lick. I'm laughing because I don't want to cry right now, right? I'm laughing because I don't want to cry. <laughs> <laughs> well, well you know what they, they what they did was it's egregious and it, it's going to go down in history is one of the the most oh man what's i don't even know what the right word is for it it's so nasty the what they've done tumultuous deceptive yeah, dude. astronomically horrible sociopathic bottom feeding clown 100% scavenger move that they can that they're playing on on cherry picked Bible verses to snatch up good Christians, bro. Right? They're yes. playing cherry picked Bible verses to snatch up God fearing Christians. Yes, a, and one, so, one other thing to so add to that. You guys are so on fire. You notice I haven't been doing a lot of talking. I know it's pretty <laughs> crazy, bro. No. Pretty no. Crazy. <laughs> can, look, can I, let me just add real one thing, and then we can decide how we want to move this forward if we're going to end or what. But um, so people need to understand that, like the whole new age movement, while it does contain a lot of good people that want to have a better future and want to evolve spiritually. It's actually infested by Satan, by satanic people. Bro, you can't Very tell people so. that. Okay? You can't even tell people that, bro. The They'll cabal, have a heart attack. It's the truth, the though. Cabal, in, they, they infiltrated that world on purpose, just like they infiltrate everything. And they, they, they honestly started moving it in a very, very witchcraft-like way. Sorce sorcery, yep. Sorcery, yes. Spell You're absolutely casting. right about that. Spellcasting, cult, mind, mind state. Yes, so sir. Yes, if sir. you're a part of the community, it's a very important to use your discernment. Never, ever let anybody tell you that they're going to work on you energetically. Uh, it's it's so crucial to protect your energy in yes, times sir. of war yes, sir. like we're, we're in now. Look, if you want to evolve spiritually, become the best version of you that you can. Nobody is going to heal you but yourself. Yep. Okay? You have to remember that.
never let anybody sell you on anything that oh, wow. is supposed to awaken you or activate you. Yeah. It's all bullshit. They're going to infiltrate you, and you're going to have more demonic attachments than you know what to do with. Bro, you, so, just hit the, you just hit the nail right on the head. That's a great well, way. That's true, man. Did you guys, and, you know, did you guys we should any, do this again. Yeah. Did you guys by any chance watch my interview or my my chat that I had with uh, Arcana Shores about a week ago? I caught a clip. I caught a clip of it, yeah. Okay. You might want to watch that because I ask her questions based on what I've deciphered over the years and how I think this movie is going to end. I knew how the and car, I said, if the cards agree with me, then I'm guessing exactly on how this movie ends. And the cards agree with me a hundred thousand percent. I'm going to tell you just so that, you know, for me personally, I used to follow that stuff uh, really heavy until I learned that, that's also kind of a bit of sorcery um, in its own way. And so I know how the movie's going to end, right? The movie ends like it says in the Bible, God already won, right? All we got to do is, is sit back and let him handle business, right? And, and in the process, we become proactive and share the truth. We make sure that we help as many people as we possibly can. And we just keep on doing the best that we very, you know, the best that we can yeah. every single day. And all three of us are on that same level. Every one of yeah, us works really hard to, yeah. to, to just bring, you know, well, you know, we started we started this whole thing based on the fact that, you know, even though it's not required of anybody to have a humanitarian project, it is every bit of a humanitarian project when we've taken tens of thousands of people and switched them over and get them positioned. I get, you know, between myself and my wife, we have literally th tens of thousands of people have literally come through and whether they buy, you know, the XRP through my broker, because they have $10,000 or more, or whether they buy it on uphold or whether when it used to be sold on the exchanges. That's the perfect moment to give all glory to yeah. the most high. Absolutely. High we should do, high. um, in that position so yeah rock star stuff right there rock we should do stuff. a show um uh, james mel if you want uh about the divination arts and i think we should go into why they are sorceress where let's their roots let's come from let's do it what bro. the intelligences are behind the information okay oh, i'd love to do it and why they will tell you what you want to hear all the time Yes. That's yes. what I think well, we should do. Let's do it. Let's do a once a week is, joint. Let's do a podcast. We'll throw it on Spotify and everything, bro. Let's start. This is no, really this is no offense. No offense to our connoisseurs because I think she's got a great heart. I do. Yes. Um, but I believe that there are influences that are above the understanding of most people until they've experienced the negative side of, of what can go wrong when you when you partake in divination arts um you you would never know until you experience it so bro, it's important. Not against flesh and blood bro you said it you said that's it. another thing we should discuss because a lot of people get sucked into that and they have no spiritual backing they have no foundation and those are the people that get taken advantage like advantage yes. of like we're seeing with the qsi cult yes if you were able to build a spiritual foundation you wouldn't be you, you would not, man, I mean, it, it, look, it's one thing to get sucked into something. It's another thing to stay and never awaken from it. Yeah. You have to be able to realize things, you know, you have to, oh, you have to. The, the, yeah. the reality so, is, is swallowing the hard truths, facing the realities of the situation. Right. And Absolutely. you, bro, I had no idea how intuitive you were. This call was a very good call and I, and I'm honored to have made your acquaintance finally and let's definitely yeah, absolutely. Start a weekly joint together guys serious, serious. i think it'd be good I, I think it'd be good i'm throwing uh i'm throwing sort of like a wild card into the deck okay mm -hmm. i'm gonna bring isaac mars into this conversation the next time we have a okay. conversation you guys know who he is i do I'm, you just did a I'm show fine. with him not too long ago didn't you uh, epic epic the guy's incredibly he's like uber intelligent <laughs> yeah yeah I, I remember uh he was the one that got arrested for trying to meet elon musk or something there you go that's it yeah i remember that show <laughs>
It makes me wonder, though, what was he really trying to do? <laughs> you know, like, right. what, are we, what are we not I hearing him? Like, what did, what happened that he's not telling us? I don't know. I'm just kidding. I mean, to an extent. But, yeah, I think it'd be great to talk to the guy. You're right. I do think he's he's super intelligent. I think uh, he'd be perfect for, you know, like a good four-way uh, chat, little round table. And I'll come, it, it, I'll come with some stuff, too, that we can share screen and, yeah, and have a little yeah. fun, too. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Um, so, uh, okay, yeah, I guess we can just – Mel, you want to hold us over for a minute then? After no, we can, we can do another five, ten minutes. I think people are intrigued by a conversation like this. So I'm going to have James Anthony uh, reach out to Isaac Mars right now and say, Isaac Mars, we want you on the next show. Isaac Mars. Shout out to Isaac Mars. <laughs> Give us a holler, all right? We want to get on this joint together and uh, have an intelligent discussion. Let's go, my brother. Let's go. He's a little bit different th thought than you guys on the tarot cards and all of that, and I think it'll be a good mix. It'll be a good, you know, debate, whatever. Well, the dynamic, that's what we're supposed yeah. to be able to do. It's supposed and to I like to hear both cards. sides of the story, you know what I mean? So, I so. hear pros and cons. I don't know. I've never really made up my mind, and I don't really go and do tarot cards every you know, weekend. Uh, but you know, I am good friends with, uh, Arcana. She's got a sweet soul. That one. She does. she does. No, she's, um, I think she's, she's one of the ones that has, um, a history of lifetimes, um, building up to the ability to handle that because the problem is not always necessarily the medium of exchange. It's also about how ready are you to use that medium of exchange? Look, yeah. if you're going to swim with the sharks, you better be a shark, yeah. right? Yeah. A lot of people that get into that kind of thing, they don't, don't know anything don't, about they don't it. Realize that they're playing. Look, it says it in the Bible. Playing with total so not fire, against man. flesh and blood, man. We are playing um, with things that we cannot see or touch. Right. Right. Very, very real. Yeah. Exactly. I, I love what you said. If you want to swim with the sharks, you got to be like a shark. And if yeah. And if you don't want to get ripped off or, or, or your uh, your uh, digital assets disappear, some guy telling you that you need to put them on the quantum wallet, okay? There's a <laughs> thing, guys. Yeah, yeah, there's a few of those yeah. going on. If you, if you want to you make sure you never get ripped off, you got to think like a thief. Listen. Yeah, I'm man. Talking, that's what they didn't realize, this QSI whiplash uh, situation, all right? Four years ago, I came out of some really dark stuff. So I know what it's like to be on that bro, side. Bro, same I, here, man. We'll have to so, talk about it sometime. I want to hear your story. Oh, bro, I would love I would love to vibe with you. In fact, now that we've had this conversation, we will be uh vibing. Yeah, on. yeah. Let's we'll chat sometime soon about it. Well, who would have thought though, guys, that digital asset investor is part of the Q movement? Well, he's always made uh some con he's always made comments the world is a stage that 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 kind of ties things together. And listen. If you're most XRP members, bro, most XRP community members are very well versed because we've dealt with so many different things. It takes a certain kind of person to be an XRP holder, bro. Yeah. It's not your everyday crypto investor, bro. It does. You, really you have to have cool. great insight. And I feel like you almost have to have been born for it. You know? Yeah, bro. No doubt. For real. You, that video, you, wow. see that video you just played, bro. That video you just played. I sat in front of the TV and and, and uh, watched YouTube on my big screen. Uh, I got probably a hundred thousand hours of XRP videos. No bullshit. Oh, yeah, okay. yeah bro. <laughs> I, I'm We're gonna have to cut some of those up and have some fun with them. Maybe this oh, was okay, yeah. so those real quick the videos that I was so addicted to watching over because it ties the breadcrumbs, and I'm a breadcrumb kind of guy. But let's talk 100%. A about Don McAfee. Uh, what what do you think? What do you guys uh, uh, think? Uh, well, you, you want to answer what's going on with Don McAfee? Serious? Who's that guy? Well, actually, Vasa. Who is that guy? Um. Yeah. You know he he makes him himself. See his eyes. Yeah. Yeah. I I I had I think he that actually might be John McAfee. That's who I think it is. Yeah, I had that same thought myself. He he kind of acts weird like McAfee does, but Sorry, McAfee is also a raging drug addict. So. I don't know. I mean, bro, he no, could have been. Serious, dude. I know, I know, but he could have yeah. been. He had to. He had to be a drug playing addict. a role. Like, yeah, I, he, there's he, some special about him. I think. I mean, I by no means is he dead. I think he also had to leave 
Uh, I think he was on the run from the cabal for sure. Yeah, I time. mean, look what he was doing. Big time. Um, they gave him an out. They gave him an out. The the white hats or whoever whoever the good guys are on the field. I think they gave him an out. Listen, I don't well, I don't doubt that this is. Oh, that sucks. He's what uh, actually. Um, it, it's going to come to light that uh, it was him is the reason, the real reason for the FTX crack. Say that again? information. He 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 was the real reason um, for the XT, FTX. Sorry, the FTX crash. It was his action. It wasn't CZ. Oh yeah, no doubt. See, see yeah, yeah. What well, that's going to come to light, and uh, people are going to be uh, pretty surprised. It has to do with his kill switch, and it also has to do with how he set his kill switch up. Um, there was a the way that he set it up was that. Um, whether the the crypto price hit a certain high, or uh, he was killed, that mm. the um, either the uh, the crash would occur, or the information would come out. The cabal yeah, chose like for the crash kind of, to occur. Some kind yeah. of large amount of terabytes. Yeah, no, there's 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 yeah. there's, there's some interesting stuff behind Dude. that. But Total that's genius, when I man. was kind of following the narrative. I don't know, bro. There's just so much insanity out there. Listen, on this it's, note, I got I to gotta sign off, yeah. y'all. We're going to have to do this again. Bro. All right. All right. Hey, uh, uh, James, I'll send you a message and uh, we'll chat, okay? Yeah, absolutely. Yo, it's an honor. It was a pleasure. Mel, this is just the beginning. Likewise. You already know. Peace, yeah. guys. I'll see you We're going to do one. a killer roundtable every week. We're going to yeah, do it. Absolutely. Do it, absolutely. It, All right, James. We'll see you. James, I'm going to call All you a little right, bit later. Well, um, so, uh, what do you, we want to, you want to, um, now? yeah, let's hang out for like five more minutes. I think that was a, a great exchange. I knew that bringing you and James in the same room was going to be like capturing lightning in a bottle. And that's, exactly, I thought it was Yeah, my prediction yeah. Was pretty good. I think bringing Isaac Mars into the mix is going to be like adding fuel to that lightning. You know what I mean? Sure. Well, let's plan on having, um, a, you know, a long enough time for the forum, like, we're probably going to need a good two, three hours for it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You know, we'll, we'll um, are we still live or no? What's that? Are we still recording? We are. We still recording. Okay. Yeah. Well, we'll, okay. do we'll put down a few talking points you want to discuss based on what current events are happening. But let's close with this, brother. You know, this RB thing. Yes, it looks like it's happening. Yes. So something happened that was really big. I forget my friend. Uh, Frank Mancini said something happened really big in Iraq today. I forget what it was. Do you know about so it? if I'm if I'm if I'm correct, uh, did did they have did they assign the the dinar rate yet? The exchange rate? No, it was something else, and I forget what he said exactly. I'm not sure if my wife remembers. Yeah, man, my 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 thoughts on on that side of the whole RV. Are, I, I'm not I'm not. Uh, on the same page as most i'm i'm big on the digital side of that but um yeah, yeah. the the iraqis are releasing a, a brand new currency just like we are here so if if they the only way that there's going to become any value from the existing dinar is if they choose to do a buyback outside of iraq which from what i've heard they're not going to do. They're only going to offer that buyback inside of Iraq. So, so and that what they to plan Iraq to do is, cars? <laughs> well, this is what Juan O'Savin uh, was actually where that information originated. Um, he knows that there's something going on and that uh, it's going to be great for us, um, but it's, it's not going to be all of what we think. Like, there's parts of it that aren't just aren't going to happen. Is that information and that we don't have? Does he? Yeah. Oh, I, I believe 100% that he's a part of the, the 17 team. I think he's the um, the public relations arm of that team. Right. Um, he's, he's, you know, his dog is, you just have to look at some of the clues. I mean, his dog's name is Oni, O-N-I. Office of Naval Intelligence. I, what, who I believe he is is John Perry Barlow. I believe that um, he's John Perry Barlow. That was uh, John F. Kennedy Jr.'s longtime friend. Really? And uh, yes, if you look, do some research on him. Um, sometimes Jr. will play 107. 
Other times it's John Perry Barlow. Really? So, yeah, that's why they call him Juan. He's John, but he's not John. He's Juan, you know? So it, it, there's a lot of clues that he'll give you. And when he does uh, play uh, Junior, when Junior, or sorry, when Junior is, because Junior always wanted to be an actor. Mm. So when Junior plays 107, he'll tell you in that recording using some sort of Morse code or, you know, he'll flip that pinky ring over to his right side when, when Perry Barlow would wear it on his left. So there's certain clues there, but um, yeah. um, I thought, I thought it was a good time today, Mel. Uh, It's been a while since we've done a show. Um, I think that, I think that you and I are a little bit more in tune in terms of where, um, things are at in terms of the war. I think the white hats have the upper hand and then some, um, but James, you know, him and I, I think we agree on a lot as well. So I yeah. think it would be great to do, um, to do this again sometime well, soon. So. Before, my wife was the one that thought it would be a good chemistry. And so Amber was the one that said, Hey, I think, you know, Colin and James Anthony, I think that would be an incredible mix. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and then while you guys were going back and forth and, and you guys were capturing lightning in a bottle multiple times, I, yeah. I put the mute button on and I said, Amber, you think it'd be a good idea to bring in Isaac Mars? <laughs> the picture goes, absolutely. So, you know. Let's do it, man. Let's do it. Absolutely. Yeah. So, you know, look, at this point, uh, are you saying that the RV is not going to exactly happen the way we think is going to happen or we're not going to get as much as we think we're going to get? Well, uh, I've always... I've always been of the belief that it was going to be a little bit different with the hard asset side of it. Like I, um, I I always, I think I've always been on the same page digitally with XRP and, uh, the, you know, some of the ISO tokens, um, for sure. I mean, the, the whole of the system is going to be based around it. Um, but but, I mean, like I said, there's going to be a cash component to that. But it's like cash is not going to be anywhere near what, you know, it, it, cash in its day. I mean, cash is always king, but like the way where things are going, you know, you're going to have more utility in digital currency. So it just makes way more sense. So I, I, I think it, I think the RV is going to happen a little bit different. I think you're going to see silver um, fly way up. Uh I think um, I think what we're going to see is um, like XRP for as an example, it's going to um, they're going to flip the switch on its stable value because in order to have an asset like XRP, in order to have that be the back end and settle at, between different currencies or commodities, you have to have it be you know at the at the correct price. So when they flip that switch. And there might be two or three switches, but, you know, it's certainly going to go, you know, after that first switch, it's it's going to go to a place high enough to where most people are going to be priced out of it. But do you think we're so, still do you think we're still far away from it as far as re- reaching the number that the, the the whoever is in charge of moving all the money, whoever's left after this war is over? Do you think that it has to reach such a such a big number? That the buyout could be at least between a hundred and two hundred thousand dollars per token. I think I think you'll see. I think a hundred thousand is is likely. Um, I I don't think it needs. I mean, it maybe maybe down the line all the way. Um, once you have all the money, all the all the wealth, right. you might go higher. Um, it's just got to be. I mean, anybody, I think that anybody that thinks XRP is going to be worth less than six figures uh, at its mature value just doesn't really know what's going on. I got to go. There's a fire truck that just showed up in my house and I have no idea why. Uh oh. Okay. Yeah. No, let's talk later, man. Thanks. Got it, brother. Thank we'll you. All right. Bye. Guys, make sure you spread this out far and wide, okay? This was epic, beyond epic. And uh, the next one, the next roundtable is going to be even more epic than this one. 
We depend on you guys. Like, you know, we always say we don't have millions of dollars disposable uh, money that we could throw at marketing. So you guys are the marketing. Thank you. We'll catch you on the next one.